Well, new at six, getting more money for your child's classroom. It's one way the two news investigators are working for you. For more than two years, Marla Carter has exposed how unpaid property taxes are shorting schools millions. Marla, there is a proposed fix. That's right, Karen. Property taxes pay for education. Some businesses don't have to pay property taxes as an incentive to come to Oklahoma. So the state promised to make up for that shortfall and pay those schools property taxes. The problem, that's not happening. He was an adventurous man. Yeah, he was Amy Roberts is spending some one-on-one -on -one time with one of her students, something she doesn't get to do often with a full classroom. The one-on-one -on -one is just it's difficult to make. Make time. More money could mean more teachers, smaller class sizes, and better learning for kids. It's what's behind a bill filed by Senator Randy Bass of Lawton. The bill adds more money to a fund that is set up to supplement the property tax losses. Jinx Public School CFO says districts desperately need the money. With funding already uh, tight, it is a uh, you know, no, schools need every source of revenue they can get. We started the parent. Amy just hopes she can get that one on one time soon so she can teach at her best. That ratio from the teacher student ratio to be a little less would be, you know, very impactful. Senator Bass tells me it amounts to at least $64 million, if not more. Here's how the bill works. Once the fund gets low, it would cause a trigger to put more money in the fund. We'll continue to follow this legislation and bring you any updates. Marla Carter, 2 News works for you. Thank